Hello friends, this is Thrifted Creations. Our host is the Grace Life DIY and Buckeye Girls Reason Things. Check out their channel in my description box and the playlist. Today you will find Terry in the in the paint studio painting a coffee. Table. Grab your drink, grab grab your snack. And if you have a friend that would like to see watch her paint this this fall masterpiece, please share this video with them sold those we'll have um we'll have garage sale too i did get rid of all of my wood patterns they're all in the back of the truck ready to go so for the past 25 years the way we made patterns is instead of making on paper my husband would cut one of luan which is a thin wood and um, so I have all these wood patterns and I thought about keeping them and just selling them. And it's like, uh, they got to go because if I put them in a pile and say, oh, I'll sell these. For one thing, most of them are outdated. Oh, it's kind of like everything behind me. I'll never get it listed. All right. I want to do something fall because did you guys see my, my scarecrow? Oh my gosh. It's like amazing. I don't know what my deal is lately, but this is... So now that I painted the scarecrow, I'm in the mood for fall. So this was our project last week inside of Painting for Profits. I just think he's adorable. Adorable. So kind of like that, kind of. So then I took him over and that's how I did the coffee pot. I kind of did a version of him there. And now we're going to do a version of him here. And now that I painted it white, I'm not quite sure why, why I did that. Because I kind of don't want it white. But I get my talking moves and then I don't pay attention. That's why we're going to bid on it as we go. Because I mean, guarantee it, I don't. I don't know how they're going to turn out. I always say, I hope they turn out, and they usually do, but you know, we're now. I got buckets. I got buckets. My husband took the time to make all those four by four dice, drilled the holes in them. I painted all the holes black. I went and got laminated scorecards. I got vinyl stickers for the buckets. I got a, just as many lids. Nobody wanted my yard seat buckets. And the whole time I was making them, I was thinking, who wants to roll these in the yard and go pick them up? Because I don't want to pick them up. And I wouldn't even play the game. I'm going to pull you up over here so you can see a little bit better. And whoever plays that game. So the people around me, every time I went to a craft show, we tried them for four or five shows. Nobody wanted my yardsy games. I don't know why, because most people painted their dots on. Ours were drilled and then painted so they weren't going to wear. Nope, I just wanted my snowmen and stuff. So, believe me, there have been a lot of things that I have tried in the crafting world that have not worked. So that's why I kind of just stick to what I know. So then one time I wanted to be a candle maker and a lady beside us had went and got a bigger candle pot, melting pot. This thing holds, I don't know how much, but it's a big, it's a big, it has a spout on it for making candles and a hundred pounds of wax. So we, <laughs> we had to lift all that wax it had been so hot in the garage. It stuck to the floor. It wasn't good. <laughs> well, Kathy, thank you. It wasn't good, you guys. We, um... Oh, 
You know, you haven't been able to move in the garage for so long. You know what helped that whole problem, though? It wasn't just because it was cleanup day. It was more because my husband went and bought himself a motorcycle. And he wanted to keep it in the garage. That's the real reason I'm finally getting the garage cleaned out. I haven't been able to park my golf cart in there for a couple of years, but isn't it funny how once they see that they need a purpose, it gets cleaned pretty quickly. So, so that's what we've been doing. We have got the back of the truck loaded down. If anybody close to me wants any wood ironing boards, I have two of them in the truck getting ready to go. Um, what else? Oh, I got quite a bit of stuff. And when we started, there were, okay, so we had a garage sale over here by my building. And the stuff that we were throwing away over there in front of our garage, which is right across the street, was all the stuff that he was taking to the trash. We had more people go over there to the trashy stuff and pilfer through it and find things. And it was like, you know, because there was a lot of metal. And so there were people wanting to gather metal and take it. And then we had... Um, Dow rods, Dow rods. Um, I swear he kept every handle off of every <laughs> every tool he ever had. It was it was a lot. <laughs> oh, thank you, Shannon. I'm. I'm not, I, I just get lucky once in a while on the crafting. It's not something I enjoy doing. I don't. And I mean, it's good if I can paint while I'm doing it, but you guys, I'm not a decorator. I'm not a floral person. I can paint. And that's all I want to do. And that's all I should stick to. So anyway, we haven't came across the candle pot yet. I might have to keep it because one day maybe I'll be a famous candle maker. <laughs> you never know. I should have learned my lesson by now. Oh, and what else? Oh, did you guys see all the spindles? Um, into deer cutting boards. Uh, wait till you see this week my brother-in-law and I I may keep it he's he's gonna get mad at me if I say I want to keep it now because it's been in there for years but my brother-in-law cut down or his father-in-law when he passed had cut down a tree and I have got quite a bit of living edge wood. It'd be pretty painted on. Oh, I've got no place to store it. And I haven't painted it yet. He did take a piece one time and put it on a, you know, one of those treadle sewing machine things. I will ask Jamie because you know what? I've got about 150 fence boards that I'm going to sell. I will never paint another fence board. And at one time she wanted them and we were gonna do something with them and that will never happen. So fence boards, I've got wood that has warped that will never go back. We have strips of wood, you know, to make small things that are about eight inches wide, four feet tall. I tried to go live in there the other day, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't take. Oh, anyway, I found that whole tub of spindles, the old wood spindles. So next time we have a vintage sale on the marketplace, I will be uh, selling a lot of spindles 
that's when we were going, we wanted to buy a welder and you take the spindles and you put wire on them, maybe um, some metal pieces and you make those, that yard art. Um, what kind of boards? Yes, fence boards were really good when I did craft shows just to make quick signs is what we used them for. But I don't do craft shows anymore, so that's kind of not, not really feasible anymore. Okay. Let's put that scarecrow down here. We're going to make the same kind of style that we did that big coffee pot in. This is going to be pumpkin spice something as well. And, oh, he used to make a lot of birdhouses on pitchforks and hay, hay somethings. And all of those, some guy bought a couple of them, you know, the big shovels with um, the big base on them. I used to paint a lot of those. Ooh, I found some cobalt blue wine bottles that I can, I did salvage those. I cleaned them up and those will be really pretty for snowmen. I love this. Do you know there's some things that you know you never will use again? And this was completely one of them because he used to be big into CB radios. And he had a couple tubs of the radio books. And so he was kind of going through his folders because he worked on them and, you know, all the things. And he found, he's like, do you think I need this? Because keep in mind, he just turned 65 this year. He found his resume. He hasn't had a job except for with me for 25 years. And he's like, pretty sure I can get rid of my resume. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's something that could easily go. Like, I don't even know, do companies, since they want uh, people to work so bad. so bad do they even take resumes anymore it's like that that one can go in the garbage so all right let's Do I want sunflowers or pumpkins? You guys get to say. Kathy, you like deck. I don't even know what you decorate them with. Let's clean that up a little bit. I had a lady that brought me a wood ironing board to paint for and she never came back to pick it up. I, that is one thing I could never sell. Ever. Nobody ever wanted a big wood ironing board. And I can't ship that stuff anymore. I, I keep forgetting Sherry Phillips has a shop in town. See if she wants it maybe for display. And a lot of his birdhouses, 
The birdhouses could have went in the, oh, and we still got flowers. Oh my gosh, you guys, we are overrun with cedar fence post um, flowers. We sold hundreds of those flowers. And that's why we have so many fence boards is because of that. So that was the main thing we made with fence boards. I was the person at the craft show who if I sat beside you, I wanted your booth. I wanted to trade people booths. I was like, oh, I want to do that. I want to do that. I want to do that. I was never satisfied with my own. I always wanted somebody else's booth and I'd go home. And have any of you noticed if you do things like this, that unless you make it your own, if I could go around, I could have copied somebody's stuff, you know, because we all did that. And I'd buy it, take it home, copy it. That was the worst thing I could ever do because I could never sell it. I don't, and I don't know why. So, because mine looked just as good as theirs. And it's like, you gotta be yourself. I guess that's the whole lesson with all of it. It was, what are we going to um, make money on? As I say that, now I got a sublimation printer and a Glowforge. I got to make them both work though, because I did get my sublimation to work though. So I... Um, I will be offering some of my signs on sublimation. All right, so we've got that. Let's make our little sign up here that's going to say pumpkin spice. Let's make it red. So I hope everybody got a chance to check out our fall extravaganza. Holy cow. I think we're all exhausted. Everybody that participated. If you are not a member of Virtual Home Decor Marketplace, you can still go back and watch the replays until Tuesday. Those ladies did an amazing job with their fall projects. Everything was fall this weekend. We had a whole day yesterday from like 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. selling fall. We had creatives come in and do projects and then they auctioned their items off. It was a busy day and then somehow I'd forgot about my mystery box challenge and I did that this morning. So... All right, let's make his face a little bit brighter. So is anybody else? I am in central Illinois, anybody? <laughs> from around my area? Where's everybody from? Because if you want to own 100 pounds of wax, two ironing boards, um, what else is in there? I got some CB repair books that are probably worth some money on Etsy, eBay. <laughs> Jamie, you want the ironing boards? Okay. I'm getting ready to pitch it all. Um, oh, 
Oh, Kathy, put the link there, ladies, so that you can go over and check it out. Hi, Maureen. Um, so yeah, we had a lot. I still got lots of flowers. Still got lots of flowers. So it's just, we're going to be bringing a load up to the D-Land auction, actually, Jamie. The good stuff. This is the stuff that we're throwing. It's dumpster week. So as long as I can keep my husband from bringing home stuff from the dumpster, then we go there. we'll be good. All right, let's grab some blood. Start bringing this little guy to life. I like Sunday nights. I was sitting here today. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Um, and Lisa, um, she commented on my post today. We... Remember Lisa Epperling, Kathy? She posted on my um, page today because sometimes when things were slow at my craft shows, I always brought things to paint on and people would buy my stuff while I was painting it. And so that was kind of my idea for this. And um, even one time, I sat and painted pumpkins because the guy beside me at a 10-day show was selling pumpkins. So I just went over, picked up a few pumpkins. We sat there and sold decorated pumpkins. Even Cassidy painted one, and I said, well, put it out there for sale. And she's like, no, she was, she was probably 10 or 12. She put it out there, and somebody bought it. And I was like, wow. That was nice. And color those in. So Sunday nights at nine o'clock will be great. I couldn't go on tonight because I was inside of the mystery challenge group and they went till 10 o'clock. So when you're in, when you do groups like that, it's common courtesy to not go live when they're live. My friend Dina was up until ten, so. But otherwise, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it at nine o'clock. Sunday nights are a good time because sometimes I never know where I'm gonna be over the weekend. All right, let's get this again. And I've gotten slack about taking my time slots at craft around the clock. Yeah, you know, once you if you get out of the habit of doing it, it's hard to get back in the habit. And since we are decluttering, this is exactly why I'm doing this. I want all the stuff out of my loft painted and sold and gone. Because I've got so much of this. If you guys watched me when I, we started to unload our trailer to take to the auction. We can't get it in until August anyway. But we started and then it was like, oh my gosh, he's got some really good stuff that I can paint on. So I got to start, I got to start painting it. He's got some really good, nice old buckets. Um... I don't know. He doesn't have time until sometime in August. And it's not stuff that's really paintable. You know, it's his flea market stuff. But he's got some good flea market stuff, like old flea market or, you know, the 1930s and 40s. Um, the toys, the wood, what did they call them? Folk art toys or something. He used to love those. And, um, so he has quite a few of those. Otherwise, it's a lot of primitive stuff. We got all those Pepsi and Coke crates. And so he's going to try to get form out. 
actually the reason I decided on the guy in V-Land is because uh, my son, his dad recently passed away and he inherited all of his stuff. Lots and lots of his stuff. He, he had a lot and it's going to take him a long time to get rid of it. I told him just to call an auctioneer in, but he's got a lot. So, so it's a really good auction and they get, sometimes it's hard to find a good auction these days that, you know, people will try to get some of your money back. None of it's worth as much as it used to be, that's for sure. Um, I want my hair. I think I just want to start with brown hair first. I kind of wanted to go a couple weeks ago, but it was Porter's birthday, so I had to go to a birthday party instead. But they had a lot of um, CWI stuff from back in early 90s, 2000s. The bears, all the, all the different things. Um... This up a little bit. So we started to go through it, and then it's like, mm, we ain't going through this until we get it to the auction. <laughs> we'll sort through it then because there's a lot, a whole lot. And once you take it out, then you got to put it all back in, so. <laughs> My purge. Um, let's kind of keep it on the... That brush has about had it. Oh, you know what? I'm going to turn you around because otherwise it's going to really look bad trying to read it backwards, so... Let me turn you around. Nobody likes lettering that's backwards. It is just um, lots of cardboard because um, for shipping, now it's just too easy to just buy boxes. He used to make all of our boxes and just stuff piles up so quick. Extra saws. Jamie's husband has all the good saws, but... We've got miter saws, two of them. The cart that we would take our setup in. Now he's got the cart on Marketplace and the extra garden tillers on the Marketplace. Okay, we've got the word pumpkin on there. Let's put... Hmm. 
I might do that in black. We're going to hold off on that a moment. I don't think that'll show up very good. That shade around his face. The, these hats remind me of, you know, the peddler selling whatever off the gypsy cart. <laughs> what it reminds me of. Blend that a little bit. So we've only got one fourth of a double car garage emptied. Guess what's already in the garage? A motorcycle. Somehow it miraculously made its way in there. My husband hasn't rode a motorcycle in probably, I don't know, probably at least 25 years. He went and got his knees replaced and now he thinks he can ride a motorcycle again. So, man, you just got those new knees. But we'll see. All right. Let's get a face on him so we can start shaping up here. The nose. Tried to get him to get a three-wheel motorcycle, but he didn't think that was very funny. Like, And you guys, over on the Marketplace, you better jump on any of the fall stuff. If they have anything left, they will keep their replays up until Tuesday. Because you know what's coming up next is our Christmas and July sales. And July's only three weeks away, so it's like, ugh. Just when we're getting in the mood for fall to paint it, now we're going to move. When you do um, any kind of lining, you got to make sure that that brush is right on point. Because otherwise, it won't work. Oh, we got the mouth in there. Let's some little stitches in there. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit on my nose while my brush is still dragging low.
So thanks for hanging out with me, everyone, because I know it's late on Sunday night and most people have to go to work tomorrow. Next week we'll do it earlier. All right, let's make this a really cute pumpkin here. Leave a little bit of yellow in that. And then we're going to come over here and add some greenery and a couple of a couple of sunflowers down there. Let's get those eyes put in because the eyes will start making it look better. Right, he's starting to come alive. <sighs> Your husband sold it last year. Wow, my husband's got new knees. He thinks he's invincible now. Hi, Amy. Oh, hi, Donna. Donna was one of our creatives yesterday inside of virtual home decor marketplace. Donna is so much different than our normal person on here. She does, she lives in Florida, so she's where all that cute beachy stuff is. I got to order some sea turtles from her and try my hand at resin. She does resin turtles or resin Puts those turtles in there, makes them adorable. I painted, Donna, did you see my turtle? I so want to make sublimated copies of that and have you, where is it? And have you um, do some resin on him. Isn't he adorable? This would, uh, I guess I didn't leave much room for resin, did I? I don't know. I'll send you a picture of it and see if there's anything you could do with that. Because I would love to have some resin on it. So when I did that a couple weeks ago, I was like, oh my gosh. And I got almost 500 likes on my page for it. So and then I asked our audience in the marketplace, I said, how many of you love beachy things? Because most of us are from the Midwest where we don't have that stuff. And we had an overwhelming response to people who liked beach stuff. Most, you know, everything goes in kind of like where you live. So, you know, if you live in Florida, you love all the beachy stuff. And if you live... In a cornfield in Illinois, you kind of like all things agricultural. <laughs> I always say I like my cornfields. Okay, so we're going... It's too big of a brush. And let's find something a little bit smaller. I have some hair on this guy. I need. Now comes all the little touches that makes it come alive. Shade that up. Put a sunflower in here.
get it placed and then we can do our top layer. if I can get some hair in here. I'm going to take those bangs out. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to change the whole lineup of that hat. And I'm going to pull it down closer to his eyes. I like that hat line better. Let's add a little bit of a highlight in here. It's getting there. It's getting there. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm going to try to hurry. I'm going to add in all the little details. Need some shading on this on this nose. This is where he kind of well he does start coming to life in these next few steps. Um, we do need some burnt umber though. make some burnt ember with some black and some brown and blend those together. I'm just going to make do with what we got. I do, I, I don't own that many paintbrushes because I'm not good with my paintbrushes. 